curious just how many layers I have on right now because I look like a snowman. If you ever go to Breck, don't go on the haunted forest. It's not so fun. What? That's not fun. so fun, it's but fun. it's fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And Tati refuses to ski. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're back in snow. So we're about to cross Vail Pass. It's freezing already. This is incredibly cold. We had to dump our pee bucket <laughs> this morning. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a pee bucket. Van lifers routine. No. They got the kombucha. <laughs> So it is 8 o'clock in the morning and we all just woke up freezing our asses off so we had to go hibernate into a warm coffee shop. So we're sitting here in the Red Buffalo coffee shop and getting ready to go ski today. We're trying to avoid so many ski crowds because Keystone was really fun yesterday but man it was really crowded. We have to write a blog, Breckenridge versus Keystone because I know a lot of people are fans of Keystone and if you're- a I'm a fan of Keystone. Yeah. If you're a good- skier or snowboarder and you're on the blues and blacks then I think Keystone's totally better but if you're on greens there's only like one green and everyone hauls ass down it and it makes it so I love, scary but I love school mom. it makes it so scary when you have yeah but Tati's little if one of those people hit her she's like Obstacle courses, kind obstacle of. Obstacle courses. And we just went around. It's so fun. If you ever go to Breck, don't go on the haunted forest. It's not so fun. What? That's not fun. so fun. It's but fun. it's fun. <laughs> so literally like five minutes after that last video, we were supposed to get off the lift at the mid unload station. Tati and Tati didn't, didn't get, get off. off. She was well aware that we were supposed to get off. We're like, Tati, we're getting off here. Tati, we're getting off here. And then we get off. So, you guys, and she's still on the lift going up. I would so, have told her to jump off, but and now I took her position. What's up, guys? So now we got his mom instead. Dre and Tati and mom have had their fill of skiing, so they took the bus back to Frisco to warm up in the RV. We have been having so much fun going down these empty slopes because the resort is about to close in like 30 minutes. So we've just been like making laps on all the blues up here, yeah. and it's been so fun. <laughs> I hate to admit it, this is like a Keystone fan over here, but I'm personally no, a Breck fan. Not, I so like both, it. okay? Yeah, I like here in Breckenridge and they let us park in their driveway for tonight because it's going to be a low of six degrees and it's freezing that we have two heaters so we have our this heater running that I don't want to even move from we all take turns huddling around it and our propane heater it's so cold so this is also the only night because we had the, the hookups that we came back to the motorhome early like at five and so normally we stay in the rec center until like eight so that we don't have to be in here but it's cold I hope it doesn't get much colder than this tonight. Look how many layers I have on. In case you're curious just how many layers I have on right now, because I look like a snowman. I have... See when I don't hit reply to the, the person. See this lady just interrupting our video? Gosh. I have a long sleeve on, then an under layer over that to hold in the warmth. Then I have my awesome hoodie on, then I have a sweater over that, and then I'm gonna just put on my ski pants for tonight because I've been cold the last few nights because somebody hogs the blankets. Just kidding. <laughs> so, it's gonna be nice and toasty. <laughs> These are all the blankets we have for me and Isabel to survive the night. Let's go down to the base. One, two, three, four, 
in five. Let's hope we don't die. You arrange these terribly, by the way. They just keep falling off the bed. It's oh, not doing up. anything. Isabel's crying because she's like, it's so good. Show, her, show me your yummy dinner. Behold, arugula salad with candied pecans and bacon and chicken and quinoa and hemp seeds. We had an amazing day. Today we went skiing at Breck and Tati shredded down a bunch of blue routes today, right? Woo! Yeah, she did great. And uh, we just, I love Breck so much. It, it was still really cold. I think it was about 35. With it was not that cold today. It was not that cold today compared to yesterday, but it's still cold. It is still, it wasn't cold. You weren't cold a little bit? Uh, no, not okay, today. today. <laughs> it was cold a little bit, I think. And even some of the guys on the lift were like, oh, I'll come back at the end of March because it gets much warmer. But we had a great day. Um, tomorrow's going to be our last day. It's going to start snowing, so we're going to head out early. We only ended up staying for about five days because it's a lot of work between by the time we get up and run the heater. It was two degrees when we woke up this morning. Run the heater, thaw out. It's, um, it's hard. You got to have your coffee, find a bathroom because we can't use ours, and then get everybody's ski gear on, and then we hit the slopes, and by the time we're done, it's four, so we go to the rec center and warm up in the jacuzzi, and it's like... It's just a lot of work. It's really fun, but it is a lot of work. So we are going to wrap it up tomorrow with uh, our trip in Colorado, and then we're going to go figure out how we're going to get our fifth wheel. Today is freezing. I feel like a baby saying that because it's snowing, and we are heading up to Breck right now to go snowboard. Tati and, and Dredge and They aren't here because they need their rest. Well, it's too to cold for them. Yeah. True, it is cold. It's like but a, we a are the cool badass group, so we're <laughs> going up ahead of them. They're gonna meet us there. Yeah. Oh. She had too much coffee this morning. Yeah, cause I I was like, oh, I want a latte. Can I get a latte? She's like, oh, yeah, coffee's fine. And I'm like, you sure? She's like, yeah, it's fine. Now I'm like, oh, dude, I gotta run laps <laughs> right now. Cause like, it was like whoa. insanely hyper. She can't handle any caffeine at all. Yeah. Monday morning. We knew today was going to be the hardest day. It said it was going to be a high of so 20. cold. Not tonight it's going to be 6. It's low of 6 tonight. Isabel and Gabby want to get their fix. So I stayed back with Tati and Jariah. Yay! Jariah's being good. But Tati is having a fit because... What was that, Tati? She hates Colorado. She hates Colorado now. She doesn't want to get out of bed. I don't blame her. It's so freaking cold. I think she's traumatized. But... If we can just get dressed and go into Whole Foods, it'll be warm and we can get food and everything will get better. I think it's just... This is why people don't do this, though, because today is horrible. We're going to send this to Dad. Hi. Hi. We're tired. We're very tired. Me and Isabel just had a very successful day at Breckenridge. We probably did around 20... 20 runs? 20 runs on peak 7. And peak 7 is amazing because it's all blue runs and it's like rolling terrain in and out of the forest. It's so much fun. And so the resort is about to close and we're headed back to Frisco. We're going to eat lots of food. What she said. Here, we don't eat out. That's how we save so much money. But every day we go and get our kombucha at Whole Foods. And that's our special treat of the day. Oh, and it also helps because for some reason they're on, they just happen to be on sale right now, two for Don't you have to be an Amazon Prime member? No, you get two for six without it. And I'm yeah, and then all the money I save, I get to use it at outer range for a beer. So exactly. it's like a win-win. It's our last day, and Tati refuses to ski. <laughs> four runs, right? I'm trying to get four runs in. Finally warm. It's finally warm and it's up 30 degrees felt like summer. The wind. But okay, spray. But the you hear that? The wind is, is insane. It's gonna be completely wind blasted up there. Sounds like a uh, a sound. It kind of does, yeah. Whoa, RV is shaking. Blowing <laughs> away. <laughs> That's oh, sad. That's actually a second two. Officially our last day at Breckenridge. <laughs> Hopefully not for the season. Jariah and Tati were whiny babies this morning. And finally they got on the lift like, oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be so fun. But Jariah's sore. But he's sore, poor baby.
like it? I wanted to make a funny pun right now about how windy it is, but I'm not smart enough to think of one right now. So, just to sound really stupid, it's so windy right now. Like, so windy. It's so icy. But we're still gonna snowboard because it's our last day. long for them so I'm just gonna take a nap. Okay so we were planning originally to go back to Breckenridge for a whole month when we were going back to San Diego. We thought oh we'll go back for a whole month it'll be fine and then as that got closer we realized oh that's a long time for us to not see Victor and Danny and that's a long time to live out of our RV in the snow. So then we're like, okay, two weeks, because it was gonna work good with my brother picking up the fifth wheel, but then he had a change of plans, and we were just gonna stay for two weeks. But then when we uh, looked at the forecast, it was, uh, we're just about to hit a huge storm coming in. That was gonna be five days of snow, maybe not a huge storm, but five days of snow. And it was really fun. We had five great days of skiing and riding, but it's hard, like living out of your motor home. Some mornings it was two degrees, Today felt like amazing because it was 30 degrees. We just we figured we had enough. It was fun. We're gonna go back to the warmth and climb, and then hopefully we can make one more trip out here before the season ends. But right now we are trying to outrun the storm because I don't want to have to deal with traction laws and putting chains on the motorhome. Sounds exhausting. 